So, um, in the last couple of years, I've had to, you know, particularly since President Trump was elected, struggle to find ways for marginalized communities' voices to be heard and tried some different, um, uh, different tactics that, while, you know, unfortunately, I, they haven't resulted in big policy changes, at least not at the national level, but I think that we are breaking down some silos and having different voices be heard. So one is a, um, um, one's a project that actually started, um, that I, I worked on the follow on to it, which was uh, something called the Inside Out Truck, which was a very famous photog French photographer named JR who uh, put together a photo truck. We went to from community to community to take photos of uh, really beautiful, powerful portraits of dreamers in uh, in the communities in which they live, alongside with their neighbors. And there's something that uh, with these portraits, which are very compelling and humanizing, you see the people for who they are and not the status that they have. And I think that those kinds of uh, cultural communications tools can <clears throat> can make a big difference. Another example is I do work with a group in Chicago of young men that are in danger of uh, being uh, subjected to gun violence or, you know, or, or, or making a bad uh, choice that's going to end them up in prison. And this is trying to give them alternative means of um, incomes and um, opportunity. And we got, after the Parkland shooting in uh, Florida, got some of these young folks from Chicago who live with the threat of gun violence every day, every day of their life, um, together with uh, Parkland students and found that while they had very different life experiences, the Parkland students coming from a you know, pretty privileged place in Florida, uh, they really bonded over this vulnerability that everybody felt and did a lot of television with them, a lot of press with them and continued to do that and found that made, that helped like break down some silos to make people who like have maybe only cared about school shootings as a mass shooting understand that what these kids in Chicago, you know, who have as much talent as um, and as much potential as any, uh, any young person anywhere in America are subjected to every day. And I think that those kinds of, those kinds of tools can, can make a difference and hope eventually we see that change reflected in policy.